As a leading technology company in Israel and in the world, Intel develops and manufactures integrated and connected digital technology and computing platforms. Although Intel is known primarily for development of semiconductors, we do a lot more than this. In recent years, we've evolved from a company that served primarily the personal computing industry to become a company that drives the largest data centers in the world, connecting millions of mobile installations and Internet of Things devices, as well as providing formation systems, protection for organizations and governments. In Israel, our activity is in two main fields, development and manufacturing. Israel is home to the largest development center of Intel in the world, and our contribution to the Intel's global technology development is significant. For example, the 7th and 8th generation Intel Core processors were developed mainly in Israel. As one of the leading companies in the Israeli market, we are committed to contribute to local economic development. We do this through the 12,800 people we employ in five centers in Israel through our significant procurement of products and services from local suppliers and through exports of around $3.6 billion in 2018, representing 7.5% of high-tech exports in Israel. Intel Israel integrates corporate responsibility and sustainability in its business strategy and partners with other companies, local authorities, institutions, government offices, and many social organizations in order to support economic growth and a more just society in Israel. We work according to our ethical standards and values which are embedded in all our aspects of our activity. In May 2020, we announced that Intel would invest $50 million to combat COVID-19 in ways we knew best, using technology to study and help with the diagnosis of the coronavirus helping disrupted educators and students and supporting innovative new ideas and projects. So far, Intel has partnered with over 100 organizations on close to 200 projects totaling more than $30 million in contributions. From the original pandemic response to first early steps toward recovery, our pandemic response technology initiative can't solve all of the challenges we're facing. But we learn and what we teach others after this event will create a strong foundation for the future. It's inspiring to see how our technology and that of the broader high-tech industry will make enriching lives, even in a world as challenged as it is today, possible.